Hello Virgo, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect next. As always, it's meant to be a general love reading. So will not resonate with every Virgo watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean it's for you. So don't try to force it if it's not meant for you. Uh, you can check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising signs. All are going to be, um, I have all of the playlists for each sign in the description box. So you can check your other placements. All right, let's get into it, Virgo. For Virgo spirit. What's going on for Virgo in love, spirits, angels, guides? Please, for Virgo, for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? What are they? Okay, we have Honeymoon. What does Virgo need to know? You know, Virgo, you keep getting that moving forward energy. <laughs> um, usually, I, I use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck for readings, and the Moving Forward card comes out, which is a card with the canoe in it. And so I find it very funny that I'm using a whole different deck and I get another card about someone on a canoe. <sighs> Where it goes. Okay, finances and careers. So I feel like there's some sort of move that maybe you're making here with the honeymoon card and finances and career. Maybe this is a move that's going to be better for your finances. Maybe this move is going to cost you something. We'll see. Um, this could be somebody also um, that you're dealing with that's, you know, these things are relevant. Finances, money, career, all that good stuff. So let's see. Let's see what we get with the tarot. Any messages, guidance, please, for Virgo. For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know regarding love? For Virgo. What can Virgo expect in love spirit? What can Virgo expect? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, nice. Sorry about the noise in the background. They're doing construction. I hope the mic isn't picking it up too strongly. Wow, we got a lot. Okay, Four of Swords, Two of Cups. Another ace, ace of swords, three of pentacles, five of swords. So I feel like you can expect something new with the ace of pentacles, ace of swords. This could be a breakthrough of some sort, a financial breakthrough or a breakthrough in terms of like an offer being extended here. Um, through communication because there's definitely two of cups here. So some sort of special partnership or a partnership. Now with the four of swords and the five of swords, I'm wondering what this is about. Because the five of swords and then the three of swords here. Hmm. Let's start there. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The higher font, Taurus energy. Why is the Five of Swords here? Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here? For Virgo. Eight of Cups. So someone here could be walking away from a commitment or an expectation that others had of them. Maybe it wasn't fair to you or this person. Flip it if it resonates, you know. Um, I feel like someone was dealing with a situation that wasn't fair to them and so they decided to walk away from it. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Eight of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? 
Page of Swords. I keep getting a lot of cards. Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles. So something here was very difficult for someone. Now I'm picturing someone that's like thinking about what to say, what to do. Maybe they're researching in secret. I feel someone's held back because of fear. Um, but I feel like that's not going to be forever because I have the Ace of Swords here. So if they were holding back from making a decision or from communicating something, I feel like that's not going to be forever. And I see that changing. Yeah, especially because I have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. What is going on? Wait, wait. Hold on. insight please for me. tell me about this three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles here ten of swords oh man why is it someone's dealing with something like i feel that's big tell me about the three of pentacles and i'm getting like this was happening for a while it could have been happening in someone's home um within a commitment within a family Something here has is, is, is ending, it's changing. And this is for you, Virgo, or your person. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, I have the High Priestess and the Six of Wands. What I'm picturing is someone that's secretly planning for success elsewhere or secretly hoping or planning for an opportunity that will bring them success. I'm also getting like secret admirer energy here. Like someone's picturing, you know, like observing another person and picturing themselves with that person. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody that's going to be communicating how they feel. Maybe this is to do with love. This could be an apology, an honest apology. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay, so I have the Three of Cups here. I have the Three of Pentacles. I have the Three of Swords. So I think there's probably some something that has gotten in the way of a Two of Cups. This is what I'm thinking. There could be a third party situation here. The third party situation does not have to be a person. It could be finances or career. I do have that there. It could be distance. Um, it could be communication or a lack of communication. But I think a lot of you are dealing with a third party situation where there's another person. And I feel like this is like related to a reunion of some sort because someone's walking away towards something. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Three of Cups here? Ace of Cups. We have Justice at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Fear, stress. Why is there fear or stress? Tell me more about this Three of Cups. It's like someone's worried about something, but why when you're just, yeah, the Queen of Cups. So this is, this should be good energy here. And there's the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's something off here. It's like a reunion or real love is like, there's something off about that. Like there's conflict yeah there's seven of swords after that or something off five of cups seven of swords five of wands look at this energy and that could be for many reasons if there is a third party obviously the third party wouldn't be happy if their person goes with another person you know i feel like someone may be going after love here is going to cause problems for them Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? King of Cups. 
I feel someone's been trapped by fear while loving or being interested in someone else. Tell me about the Three of Swords. And this could be you or your person. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone who... Um, I feel they're, they're going to be single because of what they're feeling or what's going on in their life. Because there's an ending here. If there is a third party, there's an ending here. Yeah, there's a Six of Swords. Someone's walking away from, I feel, a partnership or a third party. Like, I'm picking that up. Someone's leaving something behind. To be free, to be independent, to do what they truly want to do, which is this. This is what someone truly wants. This is what someone truly desires. A beautiful new beginning here that's successful, you know? And I feel like they've kept this to themselves. This is like a secret wish, a secret desire. Something they haven't expressed is what they truly want here. And while they've been trapped, you know, they've been having these feelings, having these emotions. This is what I'm seeing. So where's all of this headed for you, Virgo? Let me just move these to the side. What can you expect next? Spirit, what can Virgo expect in the near future when it comes to love? What can Virgo expect in love? Hold on. What can Virgo expect in love, Spirit? What can they expect in love? The hangman, what can Virgo expect in love? Okay, so <laughs> the hangman and the two of swords. Bottom of the deck, the world. So I feel like this is someone that's kind of dragging their feet here or hasn't made a decision yet. Someone that's probably blocked from making a decision, making a move. I do have the four of pentacles here. The four of swords, I believe, was here. Yep. So this could be somebody that is still in the planning stages or hasn't officially make, made this move. Um, let's see. Tell me about the hangman and the two of swords. Tell me about the hangman and the two of swords. Queen of pentacles. Tell me about the hangman and the two of swords spirit. Why are the hangman and the two of swords here spirit? Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like there's resistance here, probably in the form of a person. Queen of Pentacles to me is usually in a commitment. And it's interesting because I have a Queen of Pentacles on this side over here, but then I have a King and a Queen of Cups here. Um, do I have any other people here? The Page of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like this is a couple here and then there's a third person that might be causing some sort of resistance or block. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. And you had a reading similar to this. Check your playlist if this resonated because I did a reading for you recently where it was like someone wasn't happy for you. Someone wasn't happy. King of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like someone's um, delayed, you know. Temperance is a card about patience, balance, taking your time, needing more time. And I feel with the King of Wands, it's almost like someone needs more time, more patience to get something done. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is a block in some way. Um, or someone's commitment is a block and in the future they're still going to be dealing with this I don't see them rushing through to get this done but the goal is very clear this is someone that wants to leave their current situation and go after what they truly want that's really the main message here because they're they're wanting love they're wanting new love so that's what I have for you Virgo I hope it resonated for you if it did please leave me a comment let me know down in the comments how it resonated or if you just want to say hello um, if you enjoy the reading hit the like button subscribe I'd love to have you thank you so much for watching for all of your support and I'll see you all in another video very soon take care